What is up guys, Aerof Mora here, back again with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Deadpool, Marvel's Domino. This is Bill Figure Sasquatch, so let's get into it. Looking around the packaging on the top, Deadpool logo on the side, you got a nice picture of Domino on both sides. Back, you got a slightly less, uh, better picture of Domino. <laughs> Pause if you want to read the description, other figures in the wave. And I'm just rushing through this wave. UPC, scan if you want it. And without further ado, let's get into this. Domino comes with the right arm of Sasquatch. And now doing a size comparison. Here is Domino next to Spider Woman, Hellcat, Lady Thor, and Invisible Woman. And the two previous figures from this wave. For Domino's accessory, she comes with two purple guns, which looks futuristic. Has a hole in the front, but you can't attach any um, blast effect pieces because the hole is too short. Uh, these are okay looking guns. Uh, I really don't like that they use a solid color. Would have been nice with a little mix of purple and silver in the guns because these are uh, pretty cool looking uh, futuristic guns. You can see there's two right there. But yeah, they're also made out of this pliable rubber so it's not too hard. It's just uh, just hard enough. And you could fit both of them easily in her hands here so she both has trigger finger hands. Unfortunately on mine she doesn't really hold the pistol well and it is very loose on her right uh, hand here, you can see, just messing that around. I wish it was a little tighter. Okay, so taking a closer look at Domino, uh, I really don't like her facial expression. I wish she had a more serious expression, but since how she's based in the comics, I can see why they gave her this facial expression. Her hair is pretty basic sculpt, uh, kind of a glossy black finish on her hair, but yeah pretty basic. Uh, with the ball joint here, there is some gappages. If you're trying to do photography with this figure, you might have a troubling time to find a good angle, but yeah, unfortunately there's gaps everywhere. Oh my gosh. So one gap is in the head and I'll show you the other one later. You can remove this little, um, uh, what is this, uh, holster. I thought it was a holster. Uh, it looks like a holster, but it's to hold her like ammo clips, like her pouches and stuff. So that's what it looks like right there. You can see the two pouches on the side and you can just slip that back on easily. I wish that they uh, made this a gun holster. That would have been really nice and uh, clever of Hasbro, but I guess no. Uh, she also has this other holster which is loose. You cannot take this off unless you really want to. Uh, I wish it was just sculpted on, but I can see why they, um, they made that into a separate piece. You can see her uh, trigger fingers here, which are pretty basic and they're kind of slobbly painted on but it's okay you can see there's her bootay and on the bottom moving over down quickly at the calves here you can see some buckles right there and you can see the shin guards and the knee pads right there which are in a nice uh, metallic silver on the bottom she does have peg uh, peg holes on uh, the bottom of her feet and yeah so taking a look at the articulation here, her head it does rotate all the way around. It looks up that far and down that much, which is great. And she has the tilty shifty head movement since um, her head kind of has some gappage here and gives her leeway to do some of these extreme poses. Arm rotates all the way around, it goes out that far and inward that much which is appreciative uh, and her um, arms here she has a single jointed elbow which rotates at the elbow now her wrist here on her right hand she does rotate all the way around and it goes side to side so it goes up that far and down that much and on the left hand does rotate all the way around as well and also has a hinge which goes up that far and down that much now taking a look at her diaphragm here, really good range on this, I really appreciate it. She has a side to side, it's on a ball joint, so yeah, so she could look forward that far and back that much, and if you want to look her, make her look up, you can. It's really nice, really nice range on that. And no waist swivel, her legs can kick forward that far, so she can sit down like that, and back, uh, not, 
not at all. Upper thigh swivel right there. Uh, double jointed knees, which good has some good range right there. And um, her feet bend down that far, which is great. And up that much, which is really good yeah, for dynamic poses as well. And she has the ankle pivot right there and doing the ankle pivot test. Um, tick tock on the clock. This is going to take a little longer, more than five seconds because I have a troubling time of balance her, but balancing her. But eventually she's good to go, kind of. So taking a closer look at, even closer look at Domino here, starting off. Popping off the head here, she is pretty bright for her skin tone, but yeah, it's accurate in the comics. Uh, yeah, popping off the head, you can see the ball uh, ball hole right there and the hinge right here. Some scuffage, but you won't really see it since her head's just going to rest on it. And yeah, looking around, her arms here, silver painted, which is really nice. And um, her trigger finger here, like I said before... It is Lucy Mofo Goosey. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it's just, man, just terrible. And if you try, if you want to, you could fit it in the other hand here, which I thought will be a little tighter, but no, which is quite unfortunate. But if you don't want it on her hand, you could actually slide it on her belt here, which doesn't look half bad from the front view right there. And yes, I reused that clip. <laughs> so there you go. And if you want, you could take her other weapon and store it on the back here, which I think looks a little bit weirder since the size of it. Uh, but it can work and you can pull it off in some certain situations or angles. Now, as mentioned before, the gappage in her head is terrible. One other terrible part is her torso. Yeah, so when you bend her all the way forward, which is really pretty good range for this type of figure, you can see there is some gappage uh, when you bend her all the way forward, which is quite unfortunate. I don't know, like just making that longer, like the back piece a little longer so it kind of covers that uh, hole there, but it's really, really unfortunate. But bending her knees here doesn't look awkward at all. Um, it's like some figures like Thanos. But yeah, you can see peg holes 2016, so she's probably made or distributed at 2016 and probably released at a, a different time like uh, 2018. But yeah, uh, overall she's pretty, pretty much a basic figure, just all black and silver, so yeah. So yeah, that is it guys, hope you guys like it, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, turn on notifications for more videos coming, I know this one was uploaded a little bit later than the previous one, but I am trying to make a videos every day for you guys, so yeah, overall, I really do um, think that this is like a completionist figure, like if you don't have this figure without this figure, so I think without... Domino, there's no cable over that cable. There's no uh, domino, vice versa. But uh, she's an okay figure. Uh, since she's like a mercenary and all that, uh, I wish that they gave her more weapons, like more realistic weapons, not these kind of purpley childlike weapons. They are pretty cool. It's just the color choice is just terrible. Um, but yeah, if you are a Domino fan, uh, I wouldn't highly recommend to pick her up. She's not one of the sought after figures, kind of more of a, like I said, a completionist figures, but yeah, that is it guys. If you guys like it, you know what to do. That is it guys. Air off more, uh, Sisana now. Peace.